Hi, I'm Mark Clark with O2 Works. Um, I'm here to talk today about uh, custom code and how it impacts upgrades and patching. One of the first things that we get asked to do often is to um, provide estimates for how long an upgrade or a patching effort should take. Um, it's fairly straightforward, but one of the biggest variables is the amount of custom code that's been introduced into an environment. Um, and I don't necessarily mean customizations. What I mean is custom code is anything that hasn't been delivered by Oracle Corporation out of the box. It could be reports, it could be interfaces, forms personalizations, alerts, folders, or even third-party products. So the first thing we need to do is get a proper inventory of the amount of custom code that we have. Uh, some organizations do a really good job of getting their arms around uh, anything that's going to go into production and keeping a very good inventory. Others, uh, there may have been turnover, there may have been a phased rollout, and not everything has been collected. The first thing you want to do is to write some scripts to look at the custom database objects that you've got. Another technique that we like to do is to monitor the jobs that get submitted to the concurrent manager. It's fairly easy to uh, capture that information and then store it and find out how often um, and how frequently some of those custom reports are used or custom interfaces are used. You want to look maybe within a long period of time frame, maybe three to six months if you have that amount of time available. Look to see if jobs have been submitted and look to see if they're actually being used. One of the things you don't want to do is spend critical resources moving something to the next phase that isn't being used by the organization. Uh, one organization that we worked with actually was able to reduce the amount of custom concurrent objects by 20% that were no longer being used. Another tip, we always want to assume that if we've tweaked something that was delivered by Oracle, whether it be a workflow, a standard report, what you want to do is take a fresh copy uh, and then you want to reapply your customizations to that fresh copy. Uh, quite often we see people try to take objects that were written for an older release and try to get them to work in a new release and it's, it's very difficult to do. It, it may work for you, uh, but oftentimes it won't. And so the best practice is just take that fresh vanilla copy and reapply those customizations. Finally, uh, what I'd like to recommend is have a good bet of test cases. Um, make sure your users are trained up on what to expect as they test. Uh, it's not good enough to just say a concurrent process ran and completed without error. What you want to do is actually go into that report, uh, go into that interface, and make sure that there aren't any errors. Make sure that the results are as expected. So with that, wish you good luck on your upgrading and your patching.